Good morning, everybody. It's Christopher from Sin Education with the Four Majors and Stuff Update for the 24th of September 2013. Morning, guys. Okay, let's have a look and see what's up for today in regards to the Four Majors using the FX8 Ultimate Template. Okay, starting with the Euro against US on our daily. Let's have a look and see what's been happening. So, last week after the FOMC statement meetings, we had a huge move to the upside, pretty much taking out this major resistance level here on the Euro against US dollar on our daily. Clearly moving above the 1338.37 mark, above all of this, above the weekly. And then we had the breaks. Uh, straight on, it literally went on the breaks. We had a lot of indecision candles spinning tops here. You can quite clearly see a nice bullish engulfing candle, followed by a lot of wiki wickiness and spinning tops. And yesterday we saw price pulling back and back to the to the to the 50% fib retracement on the weekly. Okay, so now this 50% uh weekly retracement area here needs to now maintain as a support intraday for this to still maintain positive you could see here my long-term sentiment is still very much up primarily the actual indicator box is looking very very positive my r squared is complementing that my rmo which is trend related in my institution moving average indicator on the bottom here is all telling me that we should be looking for positive sentiment and we have had a nice break above the prior current resistance level here so what we do need now is receiving consolidation. Now the consolidation needs to stay above the 50% weekly uh, retracement. So very, very important here on the FIB. Take that level here, which would be 13.4778. Okay, and use that as your intraday support. So if I jump down into my four hour time frame and just move it over, you can see that price was unable to make higher highs through this period since Wednesday. Uh, RMO is still very much above the zero level which is still telling me I'm an uptrend. You can still see that on my four hour, I have a very clear indication of swing highs. Swing high, swing high, swing high, swing high, swing high, swing high, swing high. Here you can see a lot of indecision on, on, on the past 20 hours. In fact, all this happening above the 50%. So what we would like to see now, um, candles are all blue, which is good. No red, ca uh, no red um, candles. However, we do have a red arrow. And the red arrow is primarily because we haven't ha had higher highs since the FOMC statement meeting. And uh, the RMO, or so the, the RMA uh, indicator on the bottom here is clearly showing us that we haven't seen any further progression because it's below the zero line. It is at now, as, as you can quite clearly see, going dark red, which is what you want to see now at a support level. Okay, we've had the pullback. Great. There we go. It's indicated to us we've had the pullback. Now we're at support. Now we want to see this working its way back to the zero level. RMO needs to maintain above the zero, line, uh, zero level to tell us we're still above a positive trend. This needs to work its way back to the zero level. Get above, turn bright green, and we should have a nice bullish engulfing candle here. The, that's exactly what we want to see now on these time frames. And then we should see a blue arrow complementing that. So here we've got to be patient. Next four hour, we've got another uh, an hour till this four hour candle closes. If you're using the empty four from FXCM. And um, if we do see a nice positive candle here, a nice uh, hammer or something like that, or that sort, then what we will do is we end up targeting back up to our prior support and resistance level highs, which is where we saw on the outcome of the FOMC statement meeting. We do have uh, news this morning for Europe. We have the German Info Business Climate Meetings. Uh, the figure for that at 9 a.m. GMT, which is an important one. So be aware of that time frame. This afternoon we have a lot of news for the US dollar in terms of the composite 20 HP a year and year figure. The consumer confidence, which is a very, very important one for the US market expecting a slight decrease or contraction on that figure so if it does come out as they ex expected to on the forecast that could push the euro higher this afternoon so just be aware of that time frame. so what we're looking for here intraday is price to find support we do need to see a confirmation candle the last 20 hours in fact is being flat and that's happening above the weekly fib so that's good as long as it maintains above that level what we want to see now in the next four hours or the next two hours or just a nice bullish confirmation candle so that allows us then to start trading to the upside or trading to the US session this morning. US dollar uh, going to sterling against US dollar. Here again on the daily, you can see a lot of movement on the daily with the FOMC statement meeting. Then Thursday and Friday pull back and pull back to the my weekly FIB here at the 78.6. It's well over extended now on the daily, sorry, on the weekly time frame. However, as you can quite clearly see, RMO is above. MACD's indicator is very much above. Here we're seeing a bit more red than usual, but the overall sentiment is still one of positiveness as it's making swing highs, which is very, very important. However, as like its European counterpart, it needs to stay above the 78.6. We 
which is above the 1600 mark. Okay, nice round psychological rum number. Go over the 1600 mark and use it as your intraday support. So if we drop down into our four hour time frame, move it over so you can see it. You can see quite clearly on this time frame, very much swing highs. Beautiful indication on our four hour. The 20 period moving average acting as support on this particular for this particular pair. Up, up, swing, swing, swing. Beautiful. Now you can see where price is trading right now at the hard right edge at this level. The 20 period moving average coming into play yet again. We're not making swing highs, so it's imperative that we do close above the four hour prior swing, guys. This one over here, and that level is roughly around the 16071 mark. Okay, so get a nice four hour bullish engulfing counter close above that, and then straight away tackle the upside towards our FOMC statement highs that we saw, and that's a good 62 pips and change away. Okay, RMO needs to maintain above that, as you can quickly see, as we've dropped, you can see the the RMO indicator has dropped also. MACD is well below the, the red line, but that's primarily because we've consolidated now. Okay, you can quite clearly see through this period over here, if I just drop that down, you can see this consolidation. There we go to where we are right now on the chart. You can see it's very much below the red. Okay, RMO is still above, but MACD is clearly below the red. We do need it to get back up to zero. It's been moving back as we've been in this consolidation, but the past uh, four hours in particular has gone red again, which is not a good sign. It's imperative that price maintains above the 78.6 by the close of today. Okay, what do we have for sterling today? We have the mortgage approvals, BBA mortgage approvals uh, figures this morning. Expecting a slightly higher figure, which is great. So if it comes out even higher than the forecast, it'll be even better for, for sterling. We have the MPC Miles, member Miles speaking as well. So we have a member of the MPC speaking this morning. Then we have a, this afternoon at a quarter, to, quarter to two this afternoon, we have another member of the MPC Tucker speaking and um, at six o'clock this evening we have another MPC meeting Jeez, I don't know why they all talk at the same time but uh, nonetheless we've got a lot of speakers for the MPC speaking uh, during the course of today plus as I mentioned because sterling is trading against US dollar we've got to be well aware of what the US dollar does this afternoon so we have those all important consumer confidence figures coming out we have the composite 20 HP year and year figure coming out with the US market and then later this evening at 6 p.m. we also have an FOMC speaker uh, George having a chat so got to be aware of it ideally plan today of action is price man needs to maintain above that 78.6 the, the moment it drops below that then ultimately we're going to start having to look for lower lows and then we're going to have to start looking at prior swings so there would be one back towards our weekly fib at the 61.8 which funny enough would complement very nicely with our um, uptrend as well as our institution moving average so be well aware of that guys seven the 78.6 right now where price is trading at needs to be support by the end of close today ideally trading above the prior swing low on our four hour here just above the 1610 mark in particular on to the US dollar Swiss franc if euros uh, if euros moving higher then the US dollar Swiss franc should be moving lower and sure enough we've seen that tweezer top here and our monthly fib was also complements the institution moving average and price has been on a steady drop over the past couple of weeks and trading below the major support and resistance level here but also majorly below the monthly fib below the institution below our weekly fib below all the moving averages so clearly all negative rmo showing us macd showing us that the long-term sentiment of here very much showing us that however intraday we've seen a bit of positiveness the R squared isn't really complementing that, which is quite good because if that's not a genuine bounce, then the R squared is not going. The R squared should be red, which is what it's doing right now. A lot of indecision candles now forming. So we've had that FOMC statement move lower for the US dollar, which really weakened the dollar, and then we've had a lot of indecision candles, spinning tops in particular. So you can see that there's positiveness, which is very well what it's doing because it's consolidative. So you've got to have positive. If the price is consolidating in a bear trend, you must see this showing blue. But the R squared is not complementing that buying sentiment that we're seeing on our shorter term frames. As you can see, the R squared is negative. So that's good because if it's not genuine positive in this year and a negative trend, then we should be looking for that punch lower. Bearish and golf encounter closed lower, especially on a four hour time frame. Get below that and then we could target our monthly uh, FIB retracement down the bottom there, which is a healthy 239 pips away, guys. So a nice target to the downside. At the moment now, we can quite clearly see on our daily a lot of indecision candles. So if we drop down to our four-hour time frame, that will become a lot more defined. There we go. You can quite clearly see very much consolidative uh, band. So you can take a rectangular shape, which is what I tend to do. There we go. Box it nicely. 
Don't worry about these ones. This is exactly what you want to see, but we didn't see any price moving higher. We want to see a breakout of this to the downside because it's clearly showing us that we are in a negative trend. There we go. On our four, you can quite clearly see nice swing low, swing low, swing low, swing low. So if price consolidates and it still maintains the user support over here at the 90, uh, 90 mark here support, it'll end up just going sideways until it catches up with the downtrend mark and then we could see a push lower. RMO is clearly below on our four hour. MACD is above, but this is primarily because we've been consolidating. Okay, it is gone. It's dark green as at the moment, which is a healthy sign that we don't have true sentiment in this consolidation, which is what we don't want to see. Because if this, the longer this finds support above here, ultimately it's going to start looking positive, and then this R square is going to start complementing all this buying sentiment, and then we're going to see a valid return or reattempt of the weekly. Uh, 23.6 and in the institution where we've just come from. So if this to be genuine negativity, we do need to see this box of here being breached and breached very aggressively to the downside. Nice juicy bearish engulfing candle, very little wick, and then we can target those monthly fibs as I mentioned to the downside. Your start of Japanese yen, the last pair of the day. What have we seen here? So you can see quite clearly over a period of time we had swing low, swing low, swing low, swing low, swing low, swing low breakout, and Unfortunately, when we had the breakout, the candles were in blue, fantastic. RMO was above, fantastic. MACD was above, fantastic. And the MACD, you can quite clearly see, was actually starting to buy way down here, but it was on the bounce on the institution each single time above the weekly, and we headed into the monthly. But however, every single time we made an attempt to break above the monthly, we could not find the candle to support that breakout. So we had a breakout, failed support, breakout, failed support, breakout, failed support. And this one over here, the tweezer top at a monthly fib retracement, really nailed the nailed the coffin shut. And sure enough, we saw price falling aggressively over those couple uh, that week in particular, right down back into our institution. But when it got to our institution, it did exactly the same thing it did over the past three attempts at the institution. It bounced quite aggressively. Nice bullish engulfing candle, tweezer bottom now at the bottom of a trend at, the, at a major support and resistance level in the shape of the institution, but also the weekly fib, and it bounced higher. But there was no clear conviction on that bounce as well because we got to the 50 percent level and this was a very strong bounce but you expect it to bounce higher than that and what it do it just simply rolled over spinning top the next day and then yesterday in particular that bearish engulfing candle so as it stands at the moment now yet forming yet another swing low so we have a, a definite resistance level here it's still above the institution but it's not finding the sentiment to move it higher for some strange reason. It's finding a reason why to bounce here on the institution every single time, but clearly nobody really wants to move higher on the US dollar against the yen for some strange reason. So are we seeing a risk averse here? And we're seeing lower swings. So if it maintains above uh, below the 50% monthly FIB, then ultimately price is still going to look negative. And if that's the case, then we want to see a break of the of, of the day, yesterday's daily low. And we can go to our four hour time frame, use that daily low. Oh, look at that. That daily low yesterday is on the institution moving average. So the institution moving average is our current support intraday, guys. We do need to see a nice aggressive bearish engulfing candle close lower than that to confirm that we're going to see the next levels to the downside being reattempted, i.e. back towards our 23.6 on our weekly FIB. However, if it maintains above this level, and you can quite clearly see the last 20 hours in particular has been very negative, a lot of indecision candles, uh, very indecisive nonetheless, Swing low, swing low, swing low. So you can see prices dropping. But the last four hours, as it stands at the moment now, is starting to find a bit of positive buying sentiment. And hence the reason why on our 5, 15, and 30 minute candles and the R squared is confident just one or two of those is looking positive primarily because of this consolidation. RMO is still below the zero line and the MACD is still below, but moving higher. If she fails to actually find support here on the four hour and we fail to see blue candles and a blue arrow appearing and she still maintains swing lows, then ultimately we should look downside. If she does build up sentiment and she starts looking positive, then we could look back up towards the 50% uh, FIB retracement level here at the 99.79 and change mark to the upside. I'm not using, I'm not really trading this one at the moment because you can quite clearly see what she's been trading like over the past couple of weeks. Not great at all. Okay, very indecisive, consolidative, don't like it, and not interested in trading until we get well above the 50% or well below the weekly. I know I'm giving a lot of weight to the market, but it stops me trading all this indecisiveness in between that. Okay, so that's it today. Short and sweet, all 14, 14 minutes of it. But if you are using this particular template, please back it up with sound money management rules. Follow the rules of the template, guys. Um, it's so, so important. Keep the actual, um, the actual, your, 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 um, 
all your work done on this particular template, very mechanical. Okay, your approach has to be very mechanical and back it up with some money management rules, guys, and then you're in for a winner. Okay, don't bring emotion into your trading. Try and leave it behind somewhere. Okay, give it to somebody else to look after for the day and then just trade very mechanical in your approach. Okay, if that does that, then the outcome will be that. And that's what you're doing. You're looking at all your indicators to give you an indication. Here on the 4 alpha example is exactly that. Everything, all the candles are red, so you know the sentiment is still negative. We have a red arrow, fantastic. RMO is below the zero line, MACD is below the zero line. However, we're still above the institution. It, it, has to, it needs to trade below the institution in order to be a genuine negative candle or sentiment because the fact the institution is so important. If price is trading above the institution, then it's still very much positive. So it's imperative that what we want to see now, if, if this is genuine negative sentiment on the US dollar Japanese yen, is we do need to see a valid close lower than the institution moving average, which is below price. Okay, so I'll leave you that. A lot of news out today, guys. Please be aware of it. Factor it into your trading. It need be. So look at the first piece of news this morning from the German Info Climate Business Meet. Uh, the Info Business Climate <laughs> figures this morning at 9 a.m. GMT and take it from there. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that. Have a fantastic trading day, and I'll catch you guys first thing tomorrow morning. Until then, you guys trade serenely.